Oh, I woke up and looked like we're going backwards. Uh, that's not good. Let's bring the square sow up and just let's just go forwards again. Back to sleep. See you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Okay, it's probably morning now. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I, I, I remember sailing through that once. Uh, where's Dragon Cliff gone? Oh, we've gone past it. Hang on, what dog is that? Oh, we, wait, we have, we have, we have gone, we have gone past it. Oh, cripes. I mean, that's okay. Dragon Cliffs is now northwest. And the wind is going north. Ah, the port! Okay, let's let down the square cells. Let's let out the uh, the jib. Let's straighten up the wheel because we are now facing in, in the correct course. Oh, hang on, what's going on with the? We need to pull in that this out a bit because uh, okay, like that. And I did see a bit of rain. That's not brilliant. That's not hundred percent brilliant. It, can we see a storm? There will be a storm somewhere. Hang on, that's not. That's that's a rainbow. There is a beautiful, beautiful rainbow, but that is not actually Dragon Cliffs. That's Dragon Cliffs. <laughs> uh, oh no. We haven't gone. Pa we haven't gone past it. I got completely confused there. I got completely confused there. We messed up. I take partial responsibility, but mostly I blame you. I'm joking. Ah, <laughs> uh, am I? Am I joking? Look at that. Wind back in the jib again. Let's pull this in as we go. Okay, just go straight, just so we don't get caught in the wind, which we may very well do. <laughs> Let's go left. But we're getting caught in the wind here. In fact, it's fine to go right. Carry on through. Fix the square cells, Pothos. Uh, I don't think we can. Let's pull these bad boys up. If we start to go backwards again. <laughs> um. Oh dear. Well, it's just doing nothing now, so... Okay, whatever, whatever way the jib wants to go, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the jib to decide the direction of the vessel. Okay, we'll go this way then. We'll go to the port side of uh, Dragon Rocks, Dragon Cliffs way. Let's go in this direction here. Let's have... Uh, do you know what? Do you know what a good saying is? Two eels make a good meal. That, uh, but that's not an eel, that's a salmon, so... Less applicable in this situation. Uh, we're still a good meal, to be fair. Okay, now we can actually, I believe, use the square cells if we continue straight. Check the direction. The wind is likely to change as the storm moves across from wherever it is to wherever it's going. Thinks we're going six knots, five to six knots. Let's keep topped up. I'm happy we uh, brought so much water with us.
But we're still good. We're still with a great course. I'm happy with the course. Not so happy about that water coming in. But that's another thing. Let's uh, pull you in a bit. So it's like that instead. I'll be happy once that water dissipates. Yep, nice. You can only have so much water inside the vessel. Water, generally speaking, in theory, in a broad sense of how it works, is generally what you'd want is more water on the outside of the vessel than on the inside. When you've got an equal amount of water on the inside as the outside, it's not a great day at sea. In fact, it's more a day under the sea. There's the storm! No! At least the wind's a bit better because it's coming from the storm. Let's bring this like that. The wind's only better because we're not facing the correct way now. Um, let's go hard to starboard and face more onto the storm rather than the storm hitting us, hitting us on the side. Storm hitting us on the bows, on the beams, not going to be brilliant. Yeah, the wind is coming straight from that storm, of course. Let's go this way. Let's straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Um, let's let you out. Probably not very helpful as far as tipping. I thought this might be a short adventure, but uh, it's turned into a bit of an escapade. It's turned a little bit intrepid. Oh dear. Just keep the water out, keep the water out. Keep going in the right direction. Keep on top of it all. Keeping, keeping on. Well, for a little bit of morale, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna cut the fish, so at least we know we're gonna have a good meal at the end. Uh, what we might do is that jib isn't that jib needs pulling in more, doesn't it? As we're going close haul now, getting that knot within the gunnel. I'm gonna bring up the square sail, I think. You're coming up, my friend. Yeah, I think putting that jib in turn does quite a lot there, so let's let it out. Oh dear. Let's let it out. So we can turn. We're actually going the wrong way now. That turned us completely. Doing that. Put the square sail down just to help turn us back into the correct direction. Now I'll pull you up for safety. Now steer the correct direction just so you're not going haywire. Now pull you in, I think, so you're within the gunnel. There we go. Get behind the wheel again, make sure it's all good. Face in the right direction, yes. Keep this direction. Right, the wind's coming from here, so yeah, we need we need this as tight as I think we can have it. That's that's not exactly right, but to the middle. Try now. We're going forwards. We are going forwards. Left a bit, left a bit. Straight a bit, straight a bit. Gone too far. I mean, to be fair, just going on this course is fine. Let you down a bit. Let you out a bit. All the way, maybe. 
Um, oh no, I don't know. Looks like there's a massive wave there. I mean, am I seeing things? What's this? Oh! <laughs> That's not a wave. Oh, Christ, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. This is the worst thing. This is the I just thought it was like a tidal wave. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get unstuck. Oh no. This is This is something else. Oh, we're in the water. We're in the water. Let's get back out. Let's get off the land. I have been stuck before in, in, in places where I, you just couldn't, you just cannot get out. You just cannot get out. So if we can kind of just get back into the water, I'll be happy. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Oh, I cannot believe we're free. Hang on, are we free? Oh, hang on. Of course, the wind is going to want to try and push us back on. I need to keep pushing. Cannot believe that happened. That was so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Right. That was, that was so hilarious. Um, oh, the wind. The wind, the wind, the wind. I want to go backwards now. Use the square sounds to go backwards. That would be great. Yeah, if we got these now. Uh, pull this in. So that we're going backwards. We want to steer backwards. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Oh, I can't believe this. If this is the one time I've wanted to go back and quit. <laughs> oh. Reverse and try again. The one good thing about square sours is you can... You can use them to go backwards. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's... <laughs> I guess we need to... If we go hard to starboard, that should make us reverse round the corner. If I keep pulling this in. Hopefully. Might need to let this one out. And pull this one in. Wow. What a thing to happen. What is that what is that land sandbar doing there? Is that part of an island? Alright, if we let that out now and now steer to port. Let's get around this thing. I thought we were going to be stuck there forever. <laughs> I really did. Oh wow, what a, what a thing to happen. That was hilarious though, that... <laughs> oh my god. I just hope we don't hit an underwater part of it. Wow. Give that a wide berth. That was put there deliberately by somebody. 
someone, some dev somewhere, put out there, thought that would be funny. Knowing people would come from the north to Dragon Cliffs or Happy Bay, and I'd hit that. Oh, that's funny though. Right. Luckily, we're in the right ship to get off of it. Uh, now, now we can maybe go to starboard. I'm not sure how the wind's going to help us here, but should be able to actually. I think. That, that's that's fine. We can just go straight now. I'm, I'll be happy. What a, what a shenanigans. To be fair, that was pretty amazing. Hang that up there. Okay, well, it's uh, it's late and it's, you know, it's bedtime basically. Let's drink something. Let's uh, turn the lights out. Only 8% left of that one and uh, get to sleep. See you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Uh, I don't know how close we are, but it looks too close to be going straight at it. So I'm going to steer a little bit to the to port because of recent events. <laughs> and uh, we're straight up there. And I think that will make us safe for now. And uh, we'll go back to sleep. See you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. It's the morning. Oh wow, we are close. I am glad that we steered the port because <laughs> then we would have hit it. Oh dear. Oh wow, okay. I think we're going to have to come in from the other side, you know. To make it viable. Right, okay, let's steer to starboard. Let's have uh, a shimmer towel for breakfast to celebrate. And another one. So there was an entrance there, but I thought going south through like the canyons against the wind might be a bit tricky. So I thought safer option would be go from the southern side and then we'll have the wind behind us. That was the thinking anyway. There's an arch there, which I don't think we have to go through. I don't think it serves a purpose other than being the eye of the dragon or dragon cliffs. So what time is it? 20 to 7. Pull you in a bit. I think 45 degrees is the optimum angle against the wind. And this, we're not going close for at the moment, so let's let this guy up. Oh, actually, I do remember selling through the eye of the dragon before, and like this bits of missing water, <laughs> which I was scared to go through. But I think they turned out to be okay. It might be cool to go through it again. This is weird how the wind was blowing that way, but now it's blowing. The wind's changed direction. Let's just go straight now. Let you out. So this is the southern tip of it. Keep in this direction until we can tack through the wind and go north towards the entrance.
Only eight left in there now. Wow, we're getting through that barrel. I think that's a full barrel before we started. The further south we go, the easier it's going to be to tack, actually. So, might leave it a little bit longer. Okay, that's, that's 90 degrees that we can turn now. So let's pull up the, uh, the square out because I'm going to use just the jib to tack. I think that might help us. I may be wrong. Let me know in the comments. And then we're going to go hard to starboard. There's enough on there to let us go that way when it turns. Um, basically, we're just going to hope that we can get through it and the wind will take the jib to the other side. With a bit of forward momentum. If we get stuck in the wind, that's a bit bad. We've got to try and resist pulling this in too early. Can we get through the wind? We're di directly in line with the wind now. Keep going, keep going. Forward momentum. Go on, Jib. Go on, Jib. Keep going, Jib. Get the wind in you. Get the wind in you. You need a bit of wind in you. Maybe pull it a bit tighter now. Just to get it. That's it. I think that's got it. I think we just tacked. I think we just tapped. Yes. So what I was doing wrong there is I wasn't getting ready to pull this in to catch the wind there. Okay, I'll see. But that's good. And we are. That's that's fine. That's great. Um, probably going a bit too far starboard now. So. That rock there, I think we're going to need to go to the port side of that rock, or to the left of that rock. Let's straighten up here. Are we kind of going close haul, maybe? So let's pull this in from this side so that the knot is closer. Let this out first. Pull this in. So it's about there, that's good. That should be good. Left a bit, left a bit. I mean, it does seem like most of my <laughs> sailing is always close haul. I didn't realize. I'm sure the wind's changed to a, from a more northerly direction here. Look, no, how's that happened? It's just constantly like wherever you want to go, that's where the wind comes from. I think it just the wind just comes from land. Where's the newest bit of land? That's probably where you want to go. We'll make the wind come from there. Well, we'll just continue in this direction and see if anything changes. Let's go left a bit because I, I, we will hit that rock otherwise. At least I'm getting, I've learnt now a lot more about the jib. I was doing the jib wrong. I'm probably still doing the jib wrong to a certain extent, but less wrong than before, which is progress. Now we're going slow though. I came to the south side so that we would be along with the wind. So the wind is now coming from that direction, which is brilliant. Tell you what, let's uh, let's go for the eye. Let's go for the eye if it's going to be like this. If we go up this side, we've got the option to either go through the eye or go back around the north side and come from the south and see if the wind changes again to the blow from the south. I guess it's because there was a storm before. So the storm made the wind come from the south. So we went round to the south to go north, but then the storm had finished. So the storm wasn't making the wind go. So the base the wind back, went back to how it would normally be without a storm, which is from the north. So it was just an unlucky, an unlucky series of events. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go back round to the north, to the north side and, and see if we can come in from the north and go south along with the wind as it is now as it is now whether 
the wind remains north to south. That remains to be seen. At the moment, it's coming from just right of north, north or northeast. Now let's let down the square sails and have a bit of wind helping us get a bit of speed. Probably won't go through that eye in the cliffs, fun as it would be, because the wind won't like it. It's, it's already almost sunset. The thing about sunset is uh, sunset doesn't last very long in this game. It becomes nighttime very, very rapidly. Wind is now coming from the north. Okay, let's pull in, pull up the square cell and go close haul as much as we can in that general direction around hugging the land. Um, port. Well, I think that's the entrance. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull up the jib. We did agree a long time before. That we're never going to ever do another night docking again. Let's release the anchor. That's it scraping. Let's turn out the light. Let's get to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. It's the morning. It's the morning. And this time it's going to be a beautiful day for Anchor Cam. Which we have to remember to bring up this time. There we are. Anchor Cam. Let me know in the comments if you appreciate Anchor Cam. <laughs> How's the wind looking? Oh, the wind's not bad. The wind is not bad. Okay, 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 okay. Let's steer to port. Right there. It's fine. Um. Let down the jib. It might be just a jib job. <laughs> At the moment we're close hold to the wind, but not for long. Not for long. In fact, let's get on top of this. As it changes, we can let more out. For the turning efficiencies. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Let more out and then quickly run back here. Ooh, run back here onto the wheel. Straighten up. Went a bit too far there, but that's okay. Let you can see the rudder change as you do the, the wheel. See if we can go straight. I oh know, I need a bit of rudder to stop the turning left. Let's let this out more. Uh, and now it's being held by this one. Now it's turning, right, it's cool. Look, the wind's perfect now. Had we not had the storm before, I think it would have been okay to come in from this side before. Maybe. There's a rope bridge up there. Let's just turn a bit to pull here. Uh, straighten up, do not hit any land. Generally, that's not a good thing to be happening. At 7 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. Tempted to bring the square sail down a bit, but... Are you getting hungry? Well, let's have, uh, let's have a salmon. Let's have a tuna. Let's have some water. I knew I didn't fill it up last night.
Let's get back behind the wheel because we are coming in. This is definitely the culmination of the long voyage, the grand voyage. Happy Bay was really much of a pit stop. We still had much ahead of us. And uh, we're not there yet. We've still got to navigate through this canyon. But we're close. Close enough that I can taste it. Or if I can't taste it, I can smell it. I'm not on top of it right now. I'm not in contact, but I'm so close I can smell it. And it smells glorious. Like a freshly baked loaf of bread. Or cinnamon, cinnamon spices. What else? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I've gone delirious. In we come. Now which way do we go? We've got choices here. I think we just take a, take a right. Let's go, go the easy route. Let's go to the right hand side. Straighten up, straighten up. Parthos is coming home with Cassie the Cog. Everyone, align the jetty. They said it could never happen. They said it couldn't be done. But here she is, Cassie. You are glorious. Got a weave. Thread through the needle here. Through the eye of a needle. First time coming through here was with Doris. Doris the Dow. It was all very uncertain. That's a wind looking. I think we've got to go in the, under the bridges over there, so let's do a hard to starboard. Probably what we did last time. I remember we hugged as much to the right hand side as we could. Because Doris the Dow is much more forgiving. Right, let's bring this in. Because we can start to go closer to the wind. Around here, around here. Straight enough, straight enough. Well, the boat's creaking here. A bit of strain on them. Last one, Cassie. I believe in you. Gently does it, gently does it. Okay, you might want to turn now, please, Cassie. Let's get back here. Get to the right. Turning nice and gently to starboard to avoid that rock. No need to overdo it. To the right a bit. Beautiful. This is so, so, um, I don't know. It's like a ballet. It's beautiful. Can't see coming in. Oh, look at that. There she is. There's a the junk. There's the junk. Let's go to the port. This is better for the wind, even. Might even, might even need to bring up uh, into your pathway so we slow down a bit. 
Dünya ya gayrım bir fast food dog yiyeyim. Let's do a halfway gym. That's not something we usually do. We might have to let it down again if, if it slows us to a halt, but I think we'll be okay. Look at the size difference. There's a junk behind us, which is a bigger vessel. It's like a larger vessel. Can I see the cogs actually one of the larger of the smaller vessels? But look, three masts! Whoa, three masts! I didn't realise. And an upper and lower deck, and a, a cargo hold. In fact, we, we can just kind of... We can just, uh... Yeah, let's go in the corner. In the corner there. Bring up the, the cells. Um, that's cool, that's cool. Let's grab the back rope, let's jump across, tie up. Oh wow, smooth! Smooth like butter, Cassie the Cog. You will go down in the history of like finally having a great docking. Smooth like butter, it's like velvet, Cassie the Cog. She basically came through in the end. There we are, the culmination of the Grand Voyage, north to south, Port Astrian to the Dragon Cliffs with a, uh, a pit stop at Happy Bay. But there we go, the Grand Voyage is now complete. Cassie the Cog is now home in the port where she will rest at for an indefinite amount of time. This may be her final resting place, we'll see. Maybe one day we'll come back and sell her again. We'll sell the mission goods in the next episode and also this lady will be purchased, the Junk. The Junk is the class of vessel here but her name, what will her name be? That's going to be down to you. Let me know in the comments and I'll pick the best one. We've only had one suggestion so far. Keep them coming. Let me know if you liked it by clicking that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Click that notification button. And as always, I've been Potter. you've been awesome. Goodbye.